Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reaction for the given B. But before going into the lecture, first I would like to request you guys that please subscribe to my new channel. I have given the link in the description. So to find out the support reaction or to analyze this B is we have two supports here. One is here the hinge support represented by A. And the other one is the roll support represented by B. So we, we have to find out the support reactions. Is the hinge support, it can take the vertical load and horizontal load, but hence there is no horizontal load acting on the beam. So the horizontal reaction of this RAX will be equal to zero because there is no horizontal load acting on this beam. The only load is uniformly varying load acting in the vertical direction starting here from zero magnitude and increasing and increasing up to the four kilonewton per meter at the end of the beam. The total length of the beam is given to us which is five meter. So this is the roll support it be which can only take the vertical reaction. So it is represented by RB. So we are interested to find out RA and RB for a beam with a uniformly varying load or we can say the triangular load. So the first thing we have to do is to convert this uniformly varying load into a pointed load because we will need this pointed load later on for the calculation of the moment. So the first thing I have to do in such case where we have uniformly varying a triangular load we have to convert this uniformly varying load into pointed load or concentrated load. To do this we have to find out the area of this triangle this area of this whole triangle the area of this triangle will be equal to the half base into height this is the formula used to find out the area of this triangle and this is the way to convert uniformly varying load into pointed load just we have to find out the area of this triangle so half base into height half and base of the triangle is 5 meter here and height of this triangle is 4 kN per meter so here meter meter will be cancelled we will only remain with this 5 into 4 and divide by 10 we will only remain with kN so 10 kN is the load which will act at the centroid of this beam so this load which I convert into the pointed load now will act at the centroid of this beam this load is now 10 kN so this was the first step to convert the UVL uniformly varying load into point load. The second step is to find out the moment arm. Moment arm means this load will act at a certain distance. It, it means it acts a centroid, but now this force will have some distance from point B and also some distance at point from point A. So we have to find out this distance. For example, this is R and this is X. So we have to find R and X. So let's suppose we want to find out x. So the second step to find out the moment arm for this load. So this force is we know acting at the centroid of the triangle. So it means if this is in a triangle, let's suppose, and this load is acting at the centroid, so this distance will be always equal to the one third of the total distance. If the total distance of this is L. So this load will act at the distance of one third of L from this left from this right end and from this left end it will act at a distance of two third of L. This is the way how to find out the centroid for a triangle. For a rectangle, if this is in a rectangle, so the centroid always act at the center if, if this is a whole length, so it will be L by 2 and L by 2. This will act at the centroid, but for a triangle we have to know these things by heart. We have to learn this and remember these values that it acts at a distance of 1 by 3rd from this right end and 2 by 3rd from this left end. So now to find out this will act at a distance of 1 third of the total length which is 5 meter. So it comes out to be 1.66 meter. So we know this distance x which comes out to be 1 third of 5 x equal to the 1.66 meter. So now after finding out this, we are easy to find out the support reaction. So if I made it more simple, this beam, 
so now we know this load is acting here which magnitude of 10 kN and this distance is 1.66 meter so this is RA which we have to find out and this is RB which we also have to find out so we use the equilibrium equation let's suppose summation of moment at point B equal to 0 and clockwise moment we take is positive and the anti-clockwise moment we take in is negative so now the RA, the move you to find out the moment at point B, so RA is acting in the clockwise direction about point B, it creates the moment in the clockwise direction, so it will be taken as positive. So RA multiplying it with the moment arm because moment is equal to the force into moment arm. So force is RA and moment arm is the distance, perpendicular distance from point A up to point B which is total length of the beam 5 meter. The next load that creates a moment about point B is this 10 kN which acting downwards so it will create moment in the anti-clockwise direction about point B. So anti-clockwise is taken as negative so minus 10 multiplying it with the moment arm we know that moment arm is 1.66. So summation of all the moment about point B equal to 0 and there is no other force to create the moment about point B. So 5RA comes out to be if we shift this value into the right side, we got here 16.66. Now if we divide this by 5, 16.66 divided by 5, we got here 2.13 kN. So 2.13 is the reaction here to, sorry, it will be here 2.13 kN. Now to find out this Rb, Simply we can use the another equilibrium equation that summation of vertical force is equal to zero. The upward force is taken as positive, let's suppose, and the downward force, let's suppose, is taken as negative. So the upward forces are RA and RB. These are the upward forces. And the downward force is 10 kN here. Summation of all the vertical forces is equal to zero. So now the RB is equal to the efficient of this value and this value to the right side, so it will be 10 minus RA. So Rb comes out to be 10 minus 2.13. So Rb comes out to be 7.87 kN. So Rb comes out to be 7.87 kN. So we find out the support reaction for this beam. Ra is 2.13 and Rb is 7.87 kN. So this is the way how to find out the support reaction when we have triangular load. The first thing you have to convert this load into pointed load. And then you have to find out the moment arm for this load. I need to find out here X or R. Depends on whether you want to take the moment at point B or at point A. So hope you guys understand. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.